Hello and welcome to another quick tech tip with the Bearded Tech Guy. In this video, we will be going over how to set up integration between Samsung SmartThings and the Bond Bridge. Setting up this integration will allow for you to control devices connected to your Bond Bridge, such as fans, AC units, fireplaces, or blinds right within the SmartThings Smart App, as well as include any Bond Bridge connected devices right within SmartThings automations. An added bonus of this integration is that you'll also gain voice control over the devices if you have SmartThings integrated with Google Assistant or Amazon Smart Assistant, without having to deal with setting up integration between Bond and your Smart Assistant. To get started, open up the SmartThings app. Next, click on the plus sign on the right-hand side of the screen and then select Device. Then click on the magnifying glass on the right and then search for Bond Home. Once on the screen, you can click on it. Next, click on Fan slash Vent and then click on Bond Home. On the new screen that opens, you will be able to select which SmartThings hub it will connect to if you have more than one, and you will also select the room devices will be added to by default. Take note that you will be able to change this room for devices after the integration is set up if you need. Once you have both your hub and default room selected, click on Next. Here you will need to log into your Bond account. After clicking on Login, you will be presented with a page indicating the connection was successful. You can go ahead and close this page. Doing so will bring you back to SmartThings with another confirmation page and a listing of all the devices that were added from your Bond Bridge. Click on Done to go back to the main SmartThings menu. Let's now take a look at how devices appear in SmartThings. If you have a fan light combo that is set up in Bond, the fan and light will actually be separate devices within SmartThings. If your fan light has the ability to be dimmed, then you will have that option within SmartThings as well. If you do not have a dimming light, then it will just be a toggle. The same is true for the fan device. If you have different speeds for your fan, then you also have different speeds within the SmartThings app. I also have an LED strip that is controlled by my Bond Bridge. In the Bond Bridge, it is just an on or off toggle, and that is also the case in the SmartThings app. Just as a quick demonstration of how quickly things respond, here's me using the SmartThings app to turn the monitor light on and off. It's not instant because it's hub-to-hub -hub communications over the internet, but it's not horrible either. With the integration set up between BondBridge and Samsung SmartThings, you're able to include devices connected to your BondBridge right within automations and SmartThings. For example, if you want to turn on a fan based on your room's temperature sensor, you're able to set that up right within the SmartThings automation engine. You're also able to control any lights connected through the BondBridge within automations as well. An example would be turning on a fan light when motion is detected in a room. You're also able to take advantage of this integration through WebCore, which will allow for more complex automations, such as controlling both the fan and light of a fan from a single smart light switch without the switch and fan being hardwired together. I'd love to know what you think of the Bond Bridge, so let me know in the comments below. And if you run into any issues, don't hesitate to ask either. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up as it helps out the channel immensely. And if you aren't already, consider subscribing for more tech and home automation videos. Thank you for watching.